Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the 0x8000FFFF error code in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on System and then on the right side scroll down until you find Troubleshoot section and select it. Now just click on other troubleshooters and afterwards just locate the Windows Update troubleshooter and click on the run button next to it. Just wait for the troubleshooter to diagnose the issue and then choose the appropriate response when prompted to fix them. Now you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to clear the Windows Store cache. To do this press the Windows plus R combo to open a run window and then simply type the following command WS reset. Now you can press on OK or Enter to run the command. A black screen will now appear but it won't detail the progress, so once it disappears the Microsoft Store will launch with its cache cleared. You can then check if the problem still persists. You can also disable the proxy. To do this just press the Windows button and type the following command inet cpl.cpl and then select it from the search results as a command window. In the Internet Properties window, just go to the Connections tab from the top and afterwards just click on LAN Settings. Now just make sure to untick the checkbox for Use a Proxy Server for your LAN and then click on OK to save the changes. Lastly, restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to enable the cryptographic service. To do this, press the Windows button then simply type services.msc and select it from the search results. Afterwards, just locate and double-click on the cryptographic services entry. Afterwards, in the Properties window, just click on the Startup Type drop-down menu and select Automatic from the list of options. Next, just click on the Start button to run the service and then OK to save the changes and close the window. Lastly, restart the PC and check if the problem still persists. And another great solution is to run the SFC and DISM scans. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window, just type the following commands and press enter after each command. Now just wait a bit because the scan can take some time and then restart your PC. Afterwards, just check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.